Okay. And con contestant number three, Juliet Ferguson, great geek, great geek, Juliet Ferguson. My husband and I are great geeks, and we're proud of our honored title. It all started when, about a year after we were married, and we decided to do this perfect, the search for our perfect dog. We had our house, we're ready to get a dog. So we do our due diligence and we search, and we learn of the plight of the greyhounds, and that they kill 15,000 of them a year in the United States. So we decided the, great, the Greyhound would become our perfect dog. And we earned the title Great Geeks. So I'm going to tell you about that today. And I'm going to tell you how the Greyhound became our perfect dog. Because they are fun. They love to run. And then they are done. Meet Go-Go Girlie. <laughs> she is known for fun. The whirly girlie from Missouri. Her feet forward, her eyes open wide and wild. She'd levitate in the air, spin around in a circle, and then do it over and over again. Go-Go Girlie and all of our other greyhounds are known for loving stuffy toys. They didn't get any of these things at the track especially stuffy toys that squeak. Babar is Minka's favorite toy. Greyhounds are known as for our zippy attire. Another reason that they like Babar, who wears <laughs> zippy attire, like our greyhounds. Well, our greyhounds purchased their first seamstress on eBay about six years ago. And they now boast their own closet filled with 22 handmade Greyhound outfits. Oh. <laughs> Another little reason we're called Great Geeks. <laughs> Oops. No, with this. Escape. Escape, thank you. That's correct, actually. That's in between. Greyhounds love to run. Our lives, that is. <laughs> My husband and I, we allow this. <laughs> allow them to choose just about anything we do in our lives. From shopping, we go to Macy's at the mall, Del Monte Center is really great. They allow dogs. From choosing our furniture, we got a bigger couch. We had to go from a, king size, a queen to a king size bed. From vacation spots, their favorite one being renting a home in Guerneville. They're all dog friendly. <laughs> I'd like you now to meet Mr. Blitzen or his racetrack that he designed. Our yard here was filled with four foot tall willowing weeds. It only took one month of having Mr. Blitzen running through the weeds. We thought randomly, but no. After one month, a path was formed much like the parting of the Red Sea. <laughs> How do you keep up with greyhounds? I get this question every day. And I will tell you this. It is impossible to sleep that much. Let me dispel a myth here. People think because greyhounds are racers and they love to run, and they do, but after 60 seconds, about the time of a Greyhound race, they are done. Keep <laughs> Minka. She's our current Greyhound. You might have seen stories about her on Facebook because she was in the hospital this week, but she's home now. This is her, well, it's really my husband's in my, our bed, <laughs> king size bed, and our nice fluffy down comfort. It only took me two to short days to discover the king size bed and the down comforter. <laughs> and I'll tell you, 
we get worried sometimes because we call this girl and she does not move. <laughs> and it is quite often that we go to check to see if Minka is breathing. But you have to know a little bit about the Greyhound experience. Retired racers, or when they are racing, they are, at, from birth on, kept in little cages. Their little bottoms are even being worn. They don't have hair. They have little bam babu baboon bottoms. <laughs> and uh, they don't get any fun, any toys. All they do is get out of their cage four times a day. So when Minka found this fluffy comforter, <laughs> now I think you understand why she didn't want to move. <laughs> I hope today I explain to you why the Greyhound is our perfect dog for the Ferguson family. <laughs> if you consider adopting a pet, I hope it might be a dog, especially hope it might be a Greyhound. Because you will definitely come up with your own list of why the Greyhound is the perfect dog for you. Don't be surprised if you earn your own title. Great. Geek. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. Yeah.